he was glad you asked about it, wouldn't he want to spend time there? This is a common tactic they specifically employ. I'll say, uh, this has literally happened with one of their guys. Uh, let's go to Ephesians 2, which just destroys Hebrew Israelism of the One West variety because it says the middle wall's been destroyed, the dividing wall of partition. I'm, I'm glad you asked. I was talking about Israelites. Uh, Ephesians uh, 2 started at 11 verse. This was, I think, one of your first times dealing with this this guy in particular. But there's yeah. a couple tricks that him and a couple of his guys do that you didn't fall for. One is, uh, and this is this is characteristic of them. They'll often say when it's a place they don't really want to spend time at. Mm -hmm. I'm glad you asked about that. <laughs> you notice how he said he was glad you asked about it, but didn't want to go there. Didn't want to go there. Now, if he was glad, to, if he was glad you asked about it, wouldn't he want to spend time there? This I is a common so. tactic they specifically employ. I'll say, uh, this has literally happened with one of their guys. Uh, let's go to Ephesians two, which just destroys Hebrew Israelism of the One West variety because it says the middle wall's been destroyed, the dividing wall of partition. I'm I'm glad you asked. I was talking about Israelites. Uh, Ephesians uh, two. Started at 11 verse. It's talking about Israelites, Commonwealth, part of the Commonwealth. Those, those are Israelites. It's about that. But first. Well, I'm glad you brought it up, vocab, because uh, that's going to be the uh, topic of our lesson when I get when I get together with uh, Bishop Sakran later on the Apostles Live GMS 34th channel. But. Um, I did, um, or oh, I put the, together this list here of examples of the middle wall of partition, which Vocab said we shy away from, we're, we're terrified of, which he doesn't understand what the middle wall of partition is talking about. He doesn't understand. So over here, I wrote down examples of the middle wall of partition which Yahweh Shai destroyed by sacrificing himself on the cross. And that all, all the examples of the middle wall of partition has to do with Israel, the Israelites, just like you heard Elder Pastor said. Number one, now partition causes what? Division. The middle wall of partition causes what? Division, right? So number one, the division between Yahweh and us Israelites because of our, our wickedness it caused a division. So much so that the Heavenly Father cast us away from his sight, that being the land of Israel. That's why the majority of Israelites are over here in the Western Hemisphere. All right? So the division between Yahweh and us Israelites caused the middle wall of partition. Number two, the division between the tribes of Israel, Judah and Ephraim. You had the uh, thing going on between um, Rohoboam and Jeroboam. All right, how when Jeroboam talked to Rehoboam and told Rehoboam, if you, if you would um, lighten up the burden that your father put on us, we will serve you forever. We'll be your loyal subjects. They were all Israelites, right? And what did Rehoboam say? Rehoboam said, look, I'm going to put more hell on you than my father did, which caused what? Division, split. So the division between the tribes of Israel, Judah and Ephraim, Another example of what? The middle wall of partition. And finally, number three, the division between the Jews. Now, this is during Yahweh Shai's time, right? And the, the apostles and Apostle Paul and the men with him. The division between the Jews and the Israelite foreigners who became Gentiles. There was a division there. So these are three examples of your middle wall of partition and it all has to do with Israelites number one has to do with Israelites because we're the Lord's chosen people there was a division between us and our power Yahweh because of our wickedness he cast us away and there's so many scriptures to support that number two the division between the tribes of Israel Judah and Ephraim when you go back to the history how they had that split the northern kingdom from the southern kingdom there's many scriptures to support that that is also an example of the middle wall of partition and finally the division between the jews and the israelite foreigners 
That's another example of the middle wall of partition. That can be supported by scripture. Okay? So there you have it. Three examples of the middle wall of partition. And I guarantee you vocab, you couldn't, these three uh, examples there, he couldn't break it down. Okay? Now, before I go, I did a, because uh, um, Elder Pastor had mentioned in, you know, uh, in, in the video about the book of Hebrews, how you got certain Israelites made statements. Alizar, not too long ago, made a statement, we can't substantiate the book of Hebrews because we don't know who wrote it. And then Hakar, I believe, um, he, has, he has that same stance on that, you know. They, um, meanwhile, they still use the book. But they don't, you know, they, they're, uh, they're in doubt over the book of Hebrews. They're in doubt of, in, um, they're in doubt of Apostle Paul's writings, period. All right. But specifically, al had said, we can't substantiate the book of Hebrews because we don't know who wrote it. Well, the mystery is solved. Now, check this video out that I did. About three minutes long. And this will prove. And the source that I use was... Uh, uh, the G the Jehovah Watchtower Society, right? So, let's check it out. Solved, because you got certain Israelites out there that say the he Book of Hebrews cannot be substantiated because we don't know who wrote it. In particular, Alazar and as of late Hakar. Okay, so I'm gonna call this video "The Mystery Is Solved." And this is a source that I have concerning the book of Hebrews. Now, this is the re printed by the Jehovah Watchtower Society. As you have here, show you. Publishers, Watchtower Bible and Tract Society, Incorporated, Brooklyn, New York. And when you go over the Brooklyn Bridge, you, you see the building. Um, of the Watchtower Bible Tract Society. All right. Now, let's go to the book of Hebrews. Okay. As you can clearly see here, the book of Hebrews, right? This is the last chapter. I'm documenting everything here. The last chapter is chapter 13. Or is it... Yeah, chapter... 13, there's 13 chapters in the book of Hebrews, which was actually a letter. It is chapter 13, right? Now, let's look at the last verse of chapter 13. Salute all them that have the rule over you, and all the saints, they of Italy, salute you, because it was written to Israelites living in Italy. Okay? That letter was sent to them. Grace be with you all. Amen, which means so let it be. Now look at the latter part. Written to the Hebrews from Italy by Timothy. Written to the Hebrews from Italy by Timothy. And we all know that Timothy was an understudy of Apostle Paul. As a matter of fact, Apostle Paul called him his son in the spirit. Okay? So he's the one who wrote the letter which would become the book of Hebrews for the Apostle Paul. Timothy did. And it was written in Italy. All right. Written to the Hebrews from Italy by Timothy. There you go. Mystery solved. So hopefully you were edified by this video and I'll see you in the next one.